So today I'm heading out to site at Reynolds Range to our Golden Antimony projects. Uh, my plan is to first check in on the geophysics crews who are at the Sabre Prospect. And then after that, the plan is to go and have a look at some of the anomalies that we are seeing there. And those anomalies are telling us where we potentially got extensions to mineralisation. So I'm going to go and map that at surface. And that's kind of ground truth the, the geophysics. And it allows us to have more confidence in placing our, our drill holes um, within those anomalies to drill test them. As you can see, there's not a lot, lot to see at the Sabre Gold Antimony Prospect. But Sabre is a very interesting target. Where I'm actually sitting, there was a drill hole that went well over 20 metres at about three grams per tonne and a couple of percent antimony. So we really want to come back here and do some more drilling at Sabre. But before we do that, we need to know where we're going to drill. The mineralisation here is quite often associated with small uh, sulphide particles. And by association with those sulphides, you can map out the gold as well. So to that end, what we're doing is we're doing a dipole-dipole IP survey. So the plan is to find the guys that are doing the IP survey. So I know they're off in the bush, but they could be anywhere between a few hundred metres to a kilometre away. So my plan is to put my drone up into the air and see if I can spot them. So Ben, can you just explain to me the setup you've got and how it works? Yeah, sure. So this is, this is that bush chute that we use for moving around the transmitter. Um, so what we got here is we've got the generator on the back of the U. Yep. That goes into our, one of our transmitter current injection pits. Yep. Um, essentially that's three aluminium plates in the grounds. Okay. Um, that's, what that's doing is that's popping in a large square waveform into the yep. ground. We want that really sudden drop off in the current. That lets the charges that we produce in the ground, yep. lets that decay. Okay. And then we measure that decay of the charges to see what the ground's doing to that line. We have a current of 9 amps and a resistance of 125. Current is 9 amps and resistance is 125. And I'm still on station 1400. Transmitting, you Yeah, so I've never ever seen a, an IP survey in the wild. This is my, my very first one. So I'm very interested to see see how the data is collected. What is going to repeat three times. Yeah. And after the first one, I can start to see the data. Okay. And all the dots are the, um, the wires, a bit further. Okay, yep. Um, 16 of them, but mm -hmm. um, this line is pretty, it's pretty long. I think the guys that planned this, they really wanted to get down deep at this location yep. to see what the structure was doing yep. that's hosting the gold mineralisation. So I think that's why it's so long here. Yeah. As much as I understand it anyway, being a geologist. <laughs> I'd rather hit, hit the rocks with a hammer. So we're going to go and have a look at one of the drill holes that we found on the ground that had been projected in the wrong datum. When I was looking at all the old drill holes, I noticed that the, the mineralisation was really messed up. It didn't really align very well. So I was able to come back out and have a look at some of the drill holes and realise that some of them were about 15 metres out on the ground compared to where they were plotting. So you've got a three or four metre wide zone that you're chasing, it's 15 metres in the wrong direction and you're trying to match it up with another drill hole that's in the right direction that's 15 metres in the other direction, it's going to you know, make a quite a messy uh, pattern to try and trace. So when I readjusted those drill holes, all of a sudden a lot of the mineralisation lined up and it made a lot more sense and we were able to pull together a new geological interpretation which now consists of two um, fold hinges that are mineralised um, and stacked one after the other along this, this trend. So now that we've done the dipole-dipole IP survey, what that gives us is um, really good information on, on the depth, extent uh, and orientation of, of the structures um, that are defined by the chargeability and resistivity. So now we can really target our drill holes well to, to hit those. We just need a drill rig, yeah, well hopefully towards the end of this year we'll uh, be out here and we'll be testing some of our theories on this prospect. Thanks for listening and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and to our email list to get the latest information. <laughs>